So in the previous videos, you've already got all the basic network requirements set up, including configuring your controller WAN, setting up the network for different user roles, and managing your AP. In this video, we'll be demonstrating how to set up the WTG ticket printer with your controller, which you may choose to use in order to hand out on-demand login account tickets for your room guests. So let's begin by setting up the printer. First, connect the power cord to the printer's adapter and then plug it into the printer. Then plug the adapter to a power source. Next, Connect the SDS200W's adapter to the SDS200W device and then plug it into a power source. Now you'll see that the power LED light has turned green. Now to connect the printer to the SDS200W, you'll need to use the RS232 cable and connect it to both their COM ports. So let's plug those in and make sure it's firmly connected. After that, you can turn on the printer and you'll see a blue light here which means it's powered. Now you can try to test the printer first to see if it's working. So press on the function button and then press 1 and then press enter. So here you'll see a ticket being printed out which means it's working. But on the ticket you see disconnected because the printer is not yet connected to the controller. So let's set that up now. The next step would be to connect the SDS200 device to the controller since this is the device that will communicate with the controller. It's possible to connect it to the controller wirelessly via an AP and we'll need to connect the antenna to the SDS200W. But in this case, we'll connect the SDS200W to the controller via an Ethernet cable. So take an Ethernet cable, connect it to one of the LAN ports on the controller, and then connect the other end to the SDS200W. Now you'll also see a green light for the status and Ethernet LED. So now you want to check again if the connection between the printer and the controller is working. So again, press the function button, then the number 1, and press enter. You'll get a ticket that shows an IP address after connection. This is the IP address of our default service zone, which means that the connection between the printer and controller has been established and you've successfully installed them. So in the next video, we'll continue to show you how to configure the ticket printer from the controller so that you'll be able to hand out the Wi-Fi credential tickets to your room guests. 